What's up guys, the Lazy Goldmaker here and we're back with another video in my road to 100 million gold. Um, so last week we uh, I was a little bit disappointing in terms of sales. So hopefully we're doing better this week. We're going to take a look at some mailboxes. Um, there are some juicy ones. I'm going to give you a little bit of a spoiler, including some, some incredible mount sales and, and battle pet sales. Um, and then we'll take a look at the overall numbers and see how we're doing. I have now started investing for 9.2. I've started building up a material stockpile. Haven't spent a crazy amount of gold yet, but that is what I'll be doing on Draenor. Uh, preparing myself to craft rank 7 legendaries and uh, that's gonna have a, an impact but we'll see how large when we get into it so without further ado let's dive uh, into the into the meaty uh, mailboxes all right so we're gonna show off a couple of my mailboxes today um, and this is one of them on what realm is this darkman fair i think and uh, we sold a nice big ever living spore for 223k um so that's pretty cool um that's really just <laughs> the uh, the pet i wanted to show off i don't know if i bought it on this realm i very much doubt it but we can always check uh, i'd have to check all, all time ever living now we didn't buy it here <coughs> but uh that's a valuable battle pet and uh 230k gold coming my way very nice let's take a look at uh, the next realm so we are on the next realm and <laughs> this is the week of big mailboxes look at this stuff uh, Captured Dune Scavenger sold for 310k and a Swift Lovebird, the uh, Valentine's Day uh, mount, sold for 190,000. Now the Swift Lovebird is interesting because I did, uh, let's check the the auction house I hear. If it's still as high as it was, Swift Lovebird, yeah. Um, so this guy was trying to sell these for 500k first and then 5 million. Um, I bought mine for 900 or for 90,000 as you can see um and it's literally it's like one and a half month until you can acquire these again so why on earth would anyone ever pay five million for this one i don't know like uh they wouldn't they would wait two months and get it for for half that or, or way less than that so i just undercut posted mine at 200k or 190k um since i um that's still doubling my money I'm, I'm very happy selling at that price, and that's what we we did. So that's great. And then the Dune Scavenger, very interested in what I paid for that one. Um, one hundred twenty-seven and a half thousand. Yeah, nice, big profit. Good realm. Let's see if there's anything else uh, cool in store for us this week. So, on uh, Twilight Hammer, this is the next mailbox I wanted to show you. It's not that big. But it's uh, three uh, crafted dreadful pieces for the mage tower uh, that I just had as crafted transmog for a very long time. Um, and this is what, uh, a realm on the smaller side of the population spectrum. And like I think mine, these are not like the optimal relic of the past or whatever. But there just weren't any crafted dreadful pieces out. So these were the only ones. So people were buying them even though they probably, I don't know what item level these are. We can see if I have some in my uh, bags or not. I don't know if I have any. Um, no, I can't find any here. So I'm guessing all of the stuff I have will be on the auction house then. Um, but yeah, like here we have some. They're item level 39, which is absolutely not optimal. But uh, when that's the only option you have, people were apparently willing to, to buy. So that's nice. 73k. Not bad, not bad. Um, so that's, uh, that's Twilight's Hammer. Pretty cool. Alright, so now we're on the next realm, this is the Shatar, and uh, we have another Ever Living Spore sale. Um, so yeah, this is the second one I sold this week, pretty much both for the exact same amount of, of gold as well. I don't actually remember how uh, actually uh, how, how valuable these are, so maybe I should check that. Ever Living Spore. So region market value is 245k, so we sold them for a little bit less than that. Or actually we sold them for that. When you account for the percentage, uh, the auction house cut. Someone is probably trying to flip this specifically on this realm. Uh, with these prices, I should definitely keep an eye out for some more ever living spores for cheap on some of my higher population realms. Because um, this was a good week. This was a good week, just selling two of them. Uh, <clears throat> this one is priced significantly above uh, region market value, which I don't really try to do when I'm flipping battle pets. Uh, so I probably wouldn't flip it for, f try to flip it for this much, even though that might also be popular, uh, or possible, I should say. 
Um, either way, though, another 200k plus mailbox. This uh, this week is looking good on my off realms, that's for sure. All right, so lastly, Draenor. And uh, we're sitting at 1.2 million gold in sales. As you can see, we have uh, sold a couple of uh, potions for the Mage Tower. I, uh, it's the only thing I've done. I have a couple of the rank 3 uh, BFA recipes. So we sold some superior battle potions of agility and some potions of unbridled fury. Uh, but not the market I've been focusing on. Uh, so it's mostly just legendaries as, as usual. With a good mix of some lower ranks, rank 4s, rank 6s. Um, more heavy on the rank 6s, just l judging at the prices. There's a lot of 50, 60k uh, sales, which typically means that it's rank 6. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, absolutely pretty good. We still have some battle potions and some stuff that I'm still looking to sell. Uh, hopefully we should sell it off um, over the next couple of weeks so um, or the next one and a half two weeks however long the mage tower is still gonna be around um, so just get rid of all of that um, but yeah might might craft some more we'll see I just got my flasks uh, I think well they might not have been posted with the right uh, operation they probably weren't Probably were not posted with the right operation, but uh, whatever. Yeah, they were not yet. <coughs> we can swap that one then. We can swap that one and cancel those. But uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what we get out of that. Um, overall, been a, been a pretty good week with 1.2 here. And as you already see, we were up at 1.3 million total um across my other realms somewhere in that so that's gonna be uh this is gonna be a very strong week um in terms of the overall numbers so let's uh dive over and take a look at them all right so now we're here at uh, the overall numbers and uh well first thing to note we uh managed to double our sales on drainer compared to last week which is really good we still lost gold and that's because i've started to stock up on materials for 9.2 i haven't bought anything crazy in terms of quantity yet but I have started buying materials. I've started crafting up Shadowgast Ingots. I'm buying enchanted materials um, just to be ready to craft legendaries. Going to keep buying over the next couple of weeks, 100% uh, for sure, because that's that's, that's where the money is going to be in the next patch. So we have to be there for it, pretty much. Um, so that's the main thing that we've been doing on Draenor. I've restocked legendaries as well, just having more in stock, which is probably why our sales or my sales are better. Um, so that's very good. Outside of that, well, obviously this number right here is pretty high compared to last week. Mostly all of my off realms has done really well. We brought in 1.3 million um, and we earned 1.3. So in actual fact, I spent an absolutely incredible amount of, of money on uh, on Draenor. I spent um, 1.8, I spent almost 2 million gold on uh, on materials so far. Uh, prepping for for 9.2 so that's definitely something to to look into we also bought some materials on twi twisting nether for the first time in a while already showed you the highlights here uh with the two mount sails on shoulder rib the ever living spores on these two realms some um, mage tower gear here and on, on both of these two realms i sold a cuddly battle pet as well as uh, um, a mix of other battle pets and then we just have three realms that bring in like the ultra disappointing zero result in terms of sales but when we have all these other strong ones then it's not particularly a big deal i'll probably do some investment again when we have the winter whale active right now and since one of these one of the sales here on a shoulder rib was one of these seasonal mounts with the swift lovebird i'm probably going to buy up some minions of grumpus just make sure i actually remember to start posting them eventually i think i even lost the swift lovebird or two to mailbox switching when i swapped um I got new bankers, which I did on, on most of my realms throughout this year. Um, but uh, yeah, probably going to pick up some minions of Grumpus to flip. Uh, it's just It just works. As I proved on um, on a shoulder rib, doubling my gold, like 100k profit uh, for just waiting a year or, or 10 months. And I have a long-term perspective, so that's uh, um, a pretty good idea in general. And you c I could have started selling it quite a bit earlier as well if I'd remember it in time. Um, but yeah, looking good. Almost 52 million. 800k um, in 
increased liquid gold this week and this was a week where i spent a lot of gold on draenor spent 1.8 almost 1.9 million gold on draenor and we still managed to get out ahead 800k uh due to these incredible sales on my off realms so that's nice we are gonna have a couple of more weeks uh or, or month and a half two months until 9.2 which means that these sales are likely going to be high for a little while longer as there isn't that much else to care about. Um, and then we will just be spending a little bit more gold on Draenor to get a large stockpile of materials and just be ready to craft um, when the patch comes around. Hopefully it's at a time where I can dedicate a lot of effort to just going hard at the beginning uh, and push through uh, towards the end of this challenge as soon as possible. That's the goal. Um, either way, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any updates, particularly when it's going to get really, really racy when we get into 9.2. And uh, thanks for the support. We'll see you on the next episode. Goodbye, guys.